welcome to episode three of my doll diaries. Now I'm going to talk about various different doll related things today and there's going to be different dolls included. I haven't got a fixed plan but I'm just going to see how it goes and see what I can fit in in a certain amount of time. Now if you've started following me on my doll diary Instagram which I did share that with you in my last video my Instagram name for that uh, you may have seen and thank you so much for the followers that I've had on there now you will have seen if you've followed my doll diary Instagram that I shared my garage band and it was basically a picture of them as a whole and uh, a picture of the backing the backing people and I did do a tiny little video of the dolls singing which I haven't shared anywhere at the moment but maybe I'll include that in this video actually if I've still got that piece of video on my phone I'll share that with you now Right, I hope you've seen that. Now, it's just a little bit of fun. Now, how this project came about, it was kind of a bit of a happy accident. Now, I had planned on making um, a Barbie size band. That's what I wanted because I'm really into music. I play the ukulele. I've done that for, I think, about four years and I've actually taken up guitar. And I'm actually, I'm, my husband and myself are actually in a concert this evening, get at our local theatre. And we're going to be playing on the stage with our guitar. And, uh, and my husband is now playing ukulele and I've been helping him. So he's going to be performing ukulele as well. So we're really excited about it. And our children are actually coming to watch us. They're going to be sitting in the audience. So yes, it's a bit of a role reversal, isn't it? We've spent all those years watching our children and now our children are, are watching us. <laughs> so yeah, it's quite funny. So that they've watched um, um, myself before play the ukulele and they've come to watch me ice skating, but they haven't got to see, um, you know, their dad do anything before. Uh, so yes, it'd be nice for them to see their dad on stage as well. So... So basically, I wanted to build this band, um, and it, that's not my only other in, uh, musical in influence. I did used to play a bit of keyboard. When I was um, a young girl and had my first job and I lived at home, um, the first things I actually bought, well, obviously the one took me a while to save for it, but uh, the first thing I bought with my wage when I left school was actually a Barbie doll. I actually bought a dentist Barbie doll with a dentist chair and because and I was actually um, a dental nurse apprentice at the time so yes yeah, so that that was my first purchase and then I saved lots and lots and I bought some DJ decks so I used to like mixing records and things a vinyl kind of thing well my husband that's how my husband and I kind of got together we we met on holiday and he was into that kind of thing as well he had DJ decks and yeah we had a, a common interest and things so and then in in the end, uh, when we eventually we was living together as a couple, he sold his decks because we had two sets, and he kept mine because mine were a little nicer condition and things. So yes, yeah, so, so there's that kind of musical in, um, influence as well. So, but what happened is I was building a garage for a Barbie size car. Now, how I ended up with this car is I really wanted a Barbie 
drum kit. Now I'll put a photograph of this, it's just a messy picture on my kitchen island. Uh, basically, uh, I wanted this drum kit and I wanted this speaker. So hopefully that's coming up for you. I, I'm looking at my iPad at the photo and there's a little um, modern day DJ controller because this, this day and age people, uh, they're the call like CDJs now and it's all like MP3s and things. It's very different. Some people just use the vinyl for mixing and my husband does a bit of both basically basically so uh yeah so basically i really wanted those items but to get them i had to buy this barbie car it was um barbie's big dream adventure car it's a two-seater car with room in the back to have your drum kit and your dj things and basically the lid of the car maybe i'll get some photographs um online for about this car basically the lid of the car comes off and you can use it as a stage and actually the seats for the car that you sit when you drive come out so dolls can sit on to watch the performance basically so uh, no dolls come with the uh, car but just the little bits and bobs and some popcorn and things so basically i just wanted somewhere to store the car it not be getting dusty so i decided to build a garage so basically i took a piece of card i've got a photograph actually um, that I cut to size to fit the base of one of these Kallax storage things but I've measured the length of the car and the car is actually longer than the depth of one of these but where I was planning on putting it there's a bit of space behind it it's not flush up the wall so I could extend it so I extended a piece of cardboard to basically fit a Kallax base and a little bit out the back and I uh, covered it in glue and then I stuck it to another piece of cardboard and I actually used the packaging from the car. I, I like to recycle the packaging. Then I covered it in a wood grain paper that I printed out online. Um, I think I might have got this from my Floggy, um, Froggy Stuff uh, blog um printables and i printed it out a number of times and i chose something that was very gray and white but just so it was quite gentle on ink on my printer because obviously uh you know it's very hungry for ink a lot of things and the ink on my printer isn't all that cheap and i printed out um a, I, I, tr I had a look i on pinterest i found a few different brick but in the end the one i settled on was this one which i'll pop up but actually i got that off pinterest and, and sorted it myself but actually the blog that i told you about that i'll leave a link to there is one like that i've since found but that was the one i sourced myself and basically i made a, a side to start with a side and a back I think I made, no did I make the back? No I didn't, I made two sides right and I glued one side in on just on the top of the edge of the floor uh, then I, I made the other side but I didn't glue it in and then I made a back but I made, you have to consider are you going to make the back so it sits on top of the floor and inside your two walls or is it going to sit on the back? So I made mine so it sat on the back. So depending on where you measure, if you're going to have it sitting right on the back, it's going to be slightly bigger than if you fit it into your walls, if you know what I mean. So I hope you understand. So basically, if you've got a piece of furniture and you wanted to do something similar, just you just have to measure your sides and make cardboard pieces. And I doubled my cardboard pieces up and covered them in paper. So I have got a photograph that I shared on Mother's Day that um, I put um, like a, a face, like a spa type Barbie, and I was wishing all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. Now in that photograph, I was using the garage, but um, one of those pieces actually wasn't stuck down. It was a side piece and the other side piece, but I just I hadn't made the back piece at this point. So I just propped it up with some mugs it just so it would hold just to take the photograph but um, but and then after that i made the back and then i put it in now what the intention was i was going to fit it into my uh calax my one of my ikea calax storage units fit it in there then i was going to make doors so it would have garage doors that you open and i was going to have some kind of enclosure well anyway i put the car into it 
and I didn't allow for enough room. The car would have, it looks fine. It doesn't look like it's sticking out, but it is sticking out. So it would mean that if I'd have made garage doors, they wouldn't have closed. They would have kind of been sitting a little bit like that. They probably would have closed, but looking a bit poking out. And I thought, no, I wouldn't want that. So I decided I would scrap that and I'll make another one, but I haven't made another one yet. So I decided to use it because I was going to make a band from of Barbies, but I was going to do a stage. That was my plan, but instead I've made a garage band. So, I've, um, so hopefully I've shared some photographs with you of my garage band and things. So yes, yeah, so that's how that project came about. It was kind of two projects separately. I was trying to collect items to make a band. I was going to build a stage and I was basically making a garage to store the car, but obviously the car didn't fit. So then I made a garage band, but in the future, I will make a garage and I probably will make a stage. So, so that is some of my doll plans. Now, basically, I've had so much fun. I'm always moving the displays around for the dolls. I'm looking over there now. Um, so yeah, I've had, I've actually sorted out something. And do you know what? I haven't taken a photograph or done any video. What I'll do is when I've finished filming this, I'll video it. But I actually sorted out a wig mat wham that I actually made ages ago. It was a Mandy Shaw pattern. Now, Mandy Shaw is Dandelion Designs. And it was a small wig wham pattern uh, for her doll, which I did make her um, fabric doll, but it fits the um, fashion dolls perfectly. So I've actually sit my, sat my mini me in the wigwam and I've put the Gryffindor cushion that I made in there. And, uh, and and basically my mini me is doing the Gryffindor scarf knitting and I've put a little dog Basically, I've got a Barbie that I managed to pick up, uh, very inexpensive, from Lidl. It's a food shop in the UK. And actually, here's the doll. Now, I'll show you her in a minute, because I'm going to give her a mention. But she's wearing something different. Um, actually, I'll get the skirt out. She's wearing the top she came in, but she she was wearing this skirt. But I've taken it off because she's been a model for something I've designed basically, but I'll talk about that in a moment. But basically she came with some little extra bits and one of the thing was a bag, a dog bag with a dog in. So I've gave myself my mini me Barbie, um, the little dog in the bag because I'm, I actually have chihuahuas and I have carried my chihuahuas around in a bag. And I actually, uh, when I had my second dog, I actually got the dog push chair because it is very handy when I go out for the day with my family and uh, we're going to be out all day. Say we go to Stratford for the day. It's really nice to put them um, just so they've got somewhere to sleep. I can, I've got a sunshade on it and it just keeps them them, you know away a sometimes they just want to be left alone because when you have these very adorable cute little dogs people just want to bother them all day and sometimes you can just see that the dogs are tiring they've had enough and they want to be left alone so it's nice because I can zip them away put the shade on and no nobody knows they're in there so yeah it's rather nice and I know that you can actually get a Barbie that has a dog pushed here I don't own it but there is one out there <laughs> to move on to so i've talked about the garage band and the accessories and how that came about now the members of the band um are uh brook uh, basically Bro brooklyn barbie and malibu barbie now there's a new movie called um the big uh big dream adventures and it's when barbie meets barbie and barb the original barbie is from malibu and the new Barbie uh, is from Brooklyn. So they nickname each other 
Brooklyn and Malibu. So it's ba basically about their adventures, like trying to in a stage school, basically in New York. Now they they meet new friends that are new characters to the Barbie series, and one of them is Rafa. So um, he's not in the band, by the, my band, by the way, but the two dolls in the back, in the one picture, uh, the two on the left, one is Teresa, which is a, a, quite an old friend of uh, Barbie's, and Daisy. Uh, those are the two band members. Now, they, they came in a three-pack of dolls uh, with Rafa, which is a new friend, basically, of Barbie's from the movie. And actually, they continue into the new series called the um, Barbie It Takes Two. Now that hasn't started on Netflix yet. It started I think on the 8th of April and I'm filming this on the 5th of April but they have been aired on one of the children's channels in the UK called Pop. So I have actually watched I think I've watched three episodes, three or four episodes so far of that and Rafa is in it. Now this is Rafa. Now, I've got him here. Now, uh, he's still got the plastic on for his glasses. I haven't taken that off yet. Now, Rafa actually is in the outfit he wears in the show, but he also wears a flowery jacket as well, but he didn't come with the jacket. But uh, why I've taken a liking, liking to Rafa, he's basically the fashion designer, the seamstress kind of person. Or, um, would you call him a seamstress when it's a, a male? I don't know. Or a tailor, would you say? So basically, obviously, I've got something in common with Rafa. And uh, he has a little dog that um, looks a little bit like a Yorkshire Terrier, but he does remind me of my little dog a little bit, Rafe. Uh, yeah, Rafa, and I've got a dog called Rafe. His dog, he calls Gatto which is actually quite funny because it's Spanish for cat. So he calls his dog cat, but in Spanish, gato. But yeah, so I've got him sitting here because I have got a doll size sewing machine that I have shared um, on social media, but I haven't shared it on my doll diaries. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll just get it out. You have to watch because you don't want everything falling. See, I was really eager to get this. You can get this with a doll and you can get it separately. I bought it without a doll, which it worked out cheaper, um, much cheaper. And this is the sew Barbie sewing machine. And I absolutely love it. Now, I think one of those spools or two of those spools didn't actually come with it. That's stuck on here. They came with a Chelsea size doll. This was the first Barbie sewing machine I had. And uh, it came with a Chelsea doll, one of the Barbie's youngest sister dolls, uh, but a dark haired one. And uh, yes, yeah, so basically I've got this um, little sewing machine because my other series of videos, it's called the Stitch Diaries. Um, and obviously my regular viewers know I'm passionate about sewing, hand sewing, machine sewing, knitting, crochet, any sort of sewing and stitching basically. So actually this little dress form came with the Chelsea doll. Uh, she's really very sweet actually, the um, little Chelsea doll. Actually the big, this, <laughs> you ought to look at the fabric actually. It, um, it's got cactus or cacti would you say on it but that sits in there but I've just put both machines sitting on there oh it's fallen off again that's a trouble when you start moving things everything falls off so basically I've just basically got Rafa sitting uh, standing here um there is a chair that came with it that's the chair but uh R Rafa um, hasn't got great articulation he just bends at the hip where this barbie i'm using um she obviously great articulation i can bend her knees pretty well so i'll talk about um shall i talk about these now that probably leads quite well so basically that's how Ra to get rafa to get this three set uh, i already own a daisy doll but what's quite nice is that Daisy I can keep as the garage band Daisy, the one with the pink hair, and I can keep the other Daisy with 
you know, in another scene, basically. And Teresa, I hadn't got an official Teresa doll, but I have bought a made-to-move Barbie with good articulation that I think looks like Teresa. And I'm going to make her, um, Teresa's orange dress. I'm going to design it and make it. So I've got a Teresa doll. That's another future plan. But so far, I've only managed to recreate Barbie's mum. Now, Barbie, this is a Barbie doll, but Barbie's mum has um, a hair up in a bun and her hair looks a little bit more highlighted, actually, in the TV series. But this outfit is just inspired by Barbie's mum. Barbie's mum's outfit is actually, it's got purple and a bit of peach checkered fabric and it's more like a shirt. I've made a blouse. Now, this is my... Um, adjusted pattern now i did show you a pattern uh before this might have been on my doll diary videos or my stitch diary that's the one i made first but i've actually made some adjustments to it now i've actually lowered the shoulder um angle on her, on it and did i lengthen this i might have lengthened the sleeves actually um and I reduced the curve, I lowered the curve a little bit on the shoulders and this has worked out much better actually. So um, yes, yeah, so this is how Barbie's mum is looking now and I actually put purple stitching down the, the side as well of the jeans. Now these are the original jeans that I made, I still haven't got any to sell by the way but that hopefully I will have, I'll probably have one outfit to sell basically for a recreation um at the moment with everything that's going on but uh, so basically this is the jeans i've designed another pair of jeans basically so they are different to these ones there's no those are just elastic wasted these haven't got any elastic at all and they've got velcro on the back but they are a fabulous fit uh, they are um i'm really 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 pleased with these as well so we've just got a variation they're probably a little bit wider on the leg than my last ones and the pattern pieces look rather different as well to these so i'll just stand them next to each other so i might actually stand a little stay a little bit still here because i have to get a picture for youtube so sometimes it's best to stay still for a moment <laughs> so basically youtube picks a photograph for you and sometimes none of them are suitable so sometimes it's best to try and get you know one in the video so oh actually this barbie she's she's got the top she came in and it's got love and a paw print so i'm guessing that's why she had the dog bag but yeah so i've just put them next to each other obviously she's got her top over the top of it hasn't she so yeah they are a little bit these look a little bit more high-waisted these show a little bit more tummy and these are elastic and these are velcro but i'm pleased with either pair so i've actually put red stitching on these ones because i'm thinking they might make a nice pair of jeans maybe right well it doesn't have to be christmas it can be nautical can't it but if do you know if i make a christmas knit a christmas jumper or something for the barbies then it's going to go nicely but i think it looks lovely on her i'm really very pleased with how those jeans are come out so yes this is my little design board that i've got going on so only so obviously two of the pairs of jeans um are on the dolls and i've got a failed one um on the uh, tommy doll i'm calling him tommy he's a dollar bought second hand and he's my drummer and i'm calling him tommy because of tommy from the uh, motley crew because if you watch uh, there's an, a series on amazon with um it's about pamela anderson and tommy and how some um tape got out whether it's not for children by the way it's for adults but um but Pamela was married to Tommy from the Motley Crew, and he was a drummer and we'd been watching that so I thought yeah I'll, to get him looking like Tommy I'd probably have to take he take his top off and cover him in tattoos but my doll hasn't got tattoos so but this is my design board and uh, and I have talked about some of these jeans I've labeled them I've put my Ken jeans 
Uh, these are the jeans from the book, Sewing Clothes for Barbie, that I wasn't all that happy with the fit for the, the original ones I cut out. Now, in all fairness to the designer of that book, um, what was her name? Annabelle something. Annabelle uh, Benelaine. I think her name um, is, is said, right? I've said it as it's spelt, spelt kind of thing. Maybe the um, the publisher, um, like no disregard to search press, but maybe they didn't get the, the printout exactly the same. Maybe they've come out a little bit big in the book and they're not what the designer sent. Or when the designer sent them over, there's been a bit of a discrepancy because that happens with dressmaking all the time. I've learnt this because I am a dressmaker, like, you know, for myself and for my family and things. So maybe it's that, I don't know. But yes, they're too big for Barbie, uh, but they fit Ken. These are a m attempt of mine again. Um, but they, but they were a little bit hippie on Barbie. I haven't tried them on, on curvy Barbie. That's another thing. Because Daisy with the pink hair, she's a curvy Barbie. So now I've got two daisies. But I don't really want to mess around with my daisies, all, in all honesty, with their outfits. But I have got another curvy Barbie. Which I haven't wanted to mess around with her either, actually. Um. This is my um, skateboard in Tokyo Barbie. Uh, she is basically, she's got movable limbs and things. Now, I haven't measured her in comparison to Daisy, but I put, because this one is bendable, Daisy isn't. So I don't know if there's any differences with the body size, uh, but this doll is pretty cool, actually. I got her quite cheap, actually. I don't know if they were, they wasn't selling all that well, but um, she came with a, t a Tokyo jacket. Tokyo 2020 jacket. Obviously, it's quite a prominent year, isn't it, with COVID and everything. So um, my mum is back at work now. She had COVID all over um, February half term and things. And she had to time off before the half term and didn't go back, I don't think, straight away. So, yeah, it's been awful. But um, And she's been really poorly with it. But, yeah, I haven't seen her yet. She's only just gone back to work. So, yeah, so basically, this is my um, my... Tokyo Olympic Barbie and she's the skateboarder but yeah so I've got that Barbie I can measure her I actually I might measure her her you know her measurements against the um Daisy Barbie and compare and try the jeans on but that book they claim that they've got a pattern for curvy Barbie but then I'm thinking are they are they going to be too big for curvy Barbie who knows right so I'm I'm waffling away aren't I so and those yeah those are just ones of mine that I made a little bit bigger but they were too they were they looked a bit big on original Barbie I think as long as you if you took the top in like if you wanted to tuck a jumper or anything, I think they'd be fine. But I don't think they'd look as good like with that little crop top. It wouldn't be such a good fit. Now down here, I've got my original um, pattern with no seam allowance from when I designed this top, and the one with the seam allowance. What's this one? That's one I haven't tried. I haven't cut out fabric pieces and tried sewing together. And this is my current one. So the one that, that the one inspired by Barbie's mum, this is my Barbie's mum, um, that one, that's basically the pattern here. And when I cut that out, I actually cut out two, one to keep and try, and not knowing if it, if it worked actually, and one I couldn't sell. So hopefully I'll be able to sell one soon. But I've also done a variant of this. So if I wanted to make it a jersey, so it's a different back piece. I've put jersey back piece because this one doesn't allow for Velcro because I don't think if I use a stretchy jersey, I don't think I'm going to need it. So yeah, so this is my little design board. <laughs> What's going on? So uh, yeah, that's why I've needed so many dolls. Because some of them, I'm kind of doing scenes with them. And I don't really want to keep undressing them. And I need models and things. So, 
how am I doing for time? 28 minutes. Gosh, that time goes fast, doesn't it? So, right, I've had a secondhand doll get delivered today. Now, I really wanted to get a doll that looked closest to my husband. And it did prove rather difficult because of like the age of my husband and myself as well. Um, the, just the doll, the men's faces of Barbie, they do look quite young right younger than we do but my me you know, i think what it is with my husband it doesn't it's not too bad for women i think i suppose but with men older guys often have a bit of facial hair and things and they obviously all the young men don't well i managed to sit, find a shaving ken right but i couldn't get him anywhere but i've managed to find one second hand now the seller have made it look almost new it's not in a box but they've put it in some plastic and i've not even got him out yet so my husband has seen him uh this this morning before he left but yeah this is my shaving can and uh and this is the closest i can get to my husband now my husband has got hazel eyes like myself another similarity very funny isn't it and he has got brown hair now in some light by the time he's put a load of product on his hair his hair looks almost like dark brown but when he hasn't got any product in his hair his hair does look more like a lighter brown but um yeah and he and his beard isn't all that dark either so it's not a bad match but um the, the, the person who sold this to me i said thank you for supporting my small business and there's all these little bits that are inside and this doll comes with a sink <laughs> And here it is. So obviously I've bought this because I was desperate to get a doll that looked like my husband. And I also plan to make clothes for him because I would like to make something that looks like what my husband would wear. You know, like this kind of t-shirts and things he wear. But my husband said, well, are you going to give him any tattoos? So any like doll people out there, obviously there might be doll people that have started watching my channel that are a lot more doll experienced than I am. Can I get tattoos for my doll? <laughs> right. I'm sure I can. But yeah, I'd love to put some tattoos on him. So because my husband has got sleeve tattoos and he's got um he's got swallow swallows here and uh he's got uh, my name here he's got a guardian angel on his back and he's got our boys names but i'm not saying i don't want them all replicas of my husband's tattoos or anything but yeah just a few tattoos Sli maybe i could get some fabric sleeves and just slide them on or something so if i want to make t-shirts i could it's just like an extra sleeve that's not a bad idea and he hasn't got his hands tattooed so anyway this is the sink that comes with him now i don't know how long this barbie or well, this ken has been around but uh and i don't know if the accessories that i've got with this one are the right ones but fingers crossed they are i'm actually i'm going to get them out <laughs> but right i've got him out but the, the, actually, the bits are in plastic as well, so uh, I'll take those out. Actually, I went in a guitar shop with my husband the other day, Sunday actually, because he needed a strap for his guitar and ukulele because we're performing. We, we probably won't be sitting down, we'll be standing up. And uh, I had a go on Taylor Swift's guitar. It was so nice. I want, I want Taylor Swift's guitar now. Right. So I'm guessing this is a towel. Now you would expect uh, maybe you hang the towel either here or here. Maybe I'll hang it on the front like that. I'm guessing that goes there. I'm going to have a look at it online, even though it's out of stock on Amazon. I'm going to have a look and see if the accessories look the same. And now there's little holes. Well, I say little holes, there's two little holes and there's a little thing there. So does the razor go there? So yeah, it comes with a razor. I think the razor probably hangs on there. I'll put this little yellow bottle on this side. Oh, someone's putting something through the door. 
Oh, there's a little cup, which I suppose you could put your toothbrush in it, couldn't you? Matt, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to swap those over. I, I know my husband brushes his teeth with his right hand, so we'd probably want his, uh, his toothbrush on the right. Now, just to let you know, that doesn't fit in the whole that thingy that I was just telling you about. Right, so I'll put that bottle in that hole. I'm itching to see now what's come through the door. And does that toothpaste fit? No. The toothpaste doesn't go in the hole. I can put that on the side. And it's got this little wash bag. And his toothbrush is actually in the wash bag. So I've popped that in the cup. And there's actually two toothpaste by the look of it. One has got a little... Well, it might not be toothpaste, but that's what they look like. So one he could be holding. And that's a little bag. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a zip, but it doesn't close or anything. It's just, uh, you know, a suggestion. I'm just checking the drawer. Now, the drawer doesn't open, right? But if you wanted to put anything in it, it is open at the back so and and that is open so you could actually use it for storage but it's not a working one now how this works you can get rid of his beard if you say put warm water in the sink or in whatever you dip the razor in it and you rub it and it sh and his beard should come off so i haven't got any warm water to hand should we should we try it? Right, I'm going to pause the video. I'll see how long I've been talking for. I'm going to get some warm water. Right, I'm back. Now, I've got some hot water. Now, obviously with a child, if this is for a child, obviously you don't want it too hot. This isn't quite boiling. I've got a dispenser um, that you plug in and it do puts your, you know, your coffee water in and your tea water. And it's not quite, a hun you know, a hundred. It's We use a hundred degrees centigrade and we don't use fahrenheit in the uk if you're wondering americans why i'm on about 100 uh, it's like 97 or something and i've poured it into this jug and it is steaming but um i'm going to pour a little bit into the sink now obviously you wouldn't want it that hot for a child or you let the water cool down a little bit so adult supervision. Now I'm not intending on removing the uh, the beard long term because I want it stubble from because it's like my husband. But I just want to basically see how it works, and I might as well film myself doing it. So I've dipped it in there. Oh gosh, look. It is actually going, look. I think it leaves like a little bit of a shadow. Like that's in that side, look. Look at that side. Oh gosh, it's took years off him. This is what I tell my husband, don't have the beard. It takes years off you if you get rid of the beard, but they don't, they don't listen to that. He'll kill, if he watches me, he'll kill me. <laughs> Talking about him. I love him dearly. I don't mind a bit of stubble, actually. Makes him a bit man manly, doesn't it? So there we go. This is little Chris. That's my husband's name, Christopher. There we go. And this little Chris, he's had, he's had a shave. It hasn't totally disappeared. Oh, gosh, I haven't done that bit underneath. Is it coming back? Have a look at him. Now, there are some marks on him that don't seem to be disappearing. You know, like, it's like he's got a permanent goatee that... Oh, it's gone now. Mate, yeah, I probably just needed a bit more water on it. It's cut... What it is, this uh, beard will come back with cold. So let's go over it again. So there... So there we go. That's what he looks like shaved. You can still see the beard a little bit, can't you? And I think it is starting to come in, come. It's growing before my very eyes. <laughs> Gosh, how much fun is that? <laughs> right. So, 
So that's my little shaving can, which is my mini Chris. So yeah, so future outfits to make him become my husband uh, will be coming. I better, better move this water. Um, so now I'm going to mention, because I was mentioning the red thread that i've used on the jeans and christmas jumpers i know we we're you know please do not scream i'm saying the christmas word but so, as a crafter sometimes you have to think ahead now on my stitch uh, diary videos my viewers will have seen these dolls that i've knitted now this doll i knitted many years ago and this is my recent one ingrid I called her right now basically they are dolls from Arnie and Carlos knitted doll book right now one doll did end up bigger than the other this one is bigger than this one now what I think I actually did is I think I owned this book which is Arnie and Carlos knit and crochet garden uh, they're Norwegian designers before I owned this book, right? So I think what I did, I knitted the doll, because there's a doll in here called Knitter Hippie. I think I knitted the hippie. Then this, then I wanted more clothes. This book arrived and then I knitted the clothes. I think that's what has happened. But then when I've knitted my second doll, because it had been years, didn't know I'd done that. And I've knitted the one out of the doll book. But it makes a lot of sense because initially I made shoes for this doll and they're forever coming off. So maybe because the feet do look a bit bigger on this doll. So uh, yeah, so basically they've, they've got removable clothes. But this doll is naked underneath other than pants that I've knitted in, right? And this doll, I'm sorry to my regular Stitch Diary viewers, but obviously I haven't shown this on my doll diaries. I actually knitted in a t-shirt uh, with a little pink neck, pink on the sleeve and tights. So her, these aren't removable. I knitted her legs purple and then I stopped to change to white to make a t-shirt and I did a pink edging on here and here. So what's the, the clothes? are a bit big for Barbie sized dolls, the, the ones I've made anyway. But that Cetastel sweater is quite oversized, but there are smaller ones in here. Let me just find one. That is the jumper I made. It's quite oversized. But if you have a look at this jumper here, it's a lot more fitted. So I might try this pattern. Whether I do that design or not, I don't know. But obviously, I'll probably leave this till later in the year. It's not, obviously, we're only in the spring. So I don't really want to do my Christmas knitting now, in all honesty. <laughs> right? I'm not really in that frame of mind at the moment. Well, I am... I always think about Christmas, but because it was so close to Easter, I want to do Easter related things at the moment. And I get a bit like that with Halloween. I think I think about Christmas all year round, but when I've got an event like Easter coming up, Halloween, Valentine's, things like that, I kind of put Christmas aside. So yes, yeah, so I might try that jumper and let you know how it, how it fits Barbies and things. That is the plan. Now, the bodies of the dolls, just show you you never know the body the actual if i followed the pattern of the body that might actually make a t-shirt for barbie or one of the smaller ones i don't know so if you know what i'm saying if you if you understand that so yeah i might even try all that so you um you know fashion doll fans if you knit or know someone that knits you know you might be able to do that i might maybe i'll make someone put those up for sale i don't know in the future i can't promise anything you know so so that's the knitting so um what shall i talk about now where are we seven minutes into this piece of video ah Right, I know what I'm going to talk about. I'll just go and get it. Right, it's more Barbie again. Now, for you Harry Potter fans, right, uh, I will, I'll definitely bring Harry Potter 
dolls into my next doll diary video maybe i'll i'll dedicate it to all harry potter in my next doll, doll diary video um but obviously there's been a lot of barbie in this one hasn't there so basically um i saw that there was a nutcracker set of barbie available at a local toy store and then they went out of stock and they said they're not coming back and i kind of had a little bit of a panic because i thought i might like to do a bit of a christmas scene at christmas and uh, and then i'd really like these nutcracker dolls and i thought what will happen so basically in a, a local town that's neighboring my town it's coventry it's further south than here um we drove there it's not too far and it's good to give the car a good run we've got a diesel so it's good to clear out the dpf every now and then so we had a good run over to coventry um sunday morning and we went over to smith's toy store so i could get this nutcracker set and um the sugar plum is it the sugar plum fairy i'm getting in a pickle now i absolutely love the theater and the nutcracker i first saw the nutcracker at theater through the tv actually that's how i found out about it fell in love with it and then went to the theater to see it and it was just pu purely incredible and i there is actually a barbie nutcracker crapper <laughs> nut cracker movie which i haven't seen i think it was in the early 2000s and it might have been the first barbie movie actually but i haven't seen it i think you can uh, still get it places but basically um i wanted the nutcracker dolls ready for christmas basically so i've got the sugar plum fairy is she a fairy or sugar plum princess is she but um it's basically the sugar that basically if you're um in the ballet she is the star of the show if you want if you uh basically you're a ballerina this is the ballerina you want to be it's a major role with an incredible dance basically even though clara is the lead kind of the leading lady as a ballerina this is the the role you want so this is the dong Miss Sugarplum, right, and she's got a wand. She's got to be a fairy, hasn't she? Miss Sugarplum fairy. She's got a necklace on, a headband, and this lovely outfit. And she has bendable knees as well, so you can get her in good poses and bendable elbows, which you need for a ballerina, don't you? So basically, that's not the only thing. She... Oh gosh, I'm knocking. Oh, one gone. Bear with me. <laughs> I knocked my little chick. I'm going to get him some new chickens soon. I don't know what which ones. There's a little chick. Look, a Barbie chick. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll get you one of the chickens. This is one of the chickens. Do you know what? Basically, do you know I'm trying to like recreate my husband and myself? Maybe in, in, even my boys as well. I'll just drop that chicken, actually. She looks like Betty, doesn't she? The chicken that got taken by the fox i'm not going to talk about it right so basically <laughs> sorry about that if you're new to my videos you will get used to me i'm always having accidents and knocking things basically she did come with some other things and i've not got them off the packaging yet so if it doesn't drop oh right <laughs> this is the packaging she came in I always love the packaging. I wish it didn't get destroyed. I wish it... I wish, actually, Mattel, if you ever, ever watch my videos, this is a little thing. Could you please write in the packaging, if possible, I know it's an extra expense and printing, put an extra layer of the uh, packaging in that hasn't got the holes in so you can use it as a display because that would be lovely. But on here... There's a pair of nice shoes because the doll is wearing ballet slippers and another, I don't know if it's a necklace or another headpiece. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I think it's a necklace because um, on the picture it's pointing down and the headband she's got on is pointing up. So yeah, so I guess that's what it is. But yeah, I've not got those off the cardboard yet. 
but yeah she's lovely so hopefully i'll be able to do something nice at christmas and i've managed to get um, an ice skating barbie i'm not going to show that this video but um yeah I'm, what i'll do is i'm going to show you these now and i think that's how i'm going to end this video and i'll obviously i've got loads more to show you in future videos but my next old video it's going to be even if i haven't made anything new for the harry potter dolls which i might have done you never know um i'll de i'll dedicate it just to showing dolls even if like i say i've not made anything but get ready for this <laughs> Ta -da! I'm sorry I'm having to angle it because the, the lamp has got a glare but basically I don't know how well you know the Nutcracker story but you get Clara who is the main person in it and the, the Nutcracker and you get a Chelsea doll in this as well now I've not got these out the box right now I'm not the kind of um, doll person that leaves them in the box right i know that they're probably worth more money and whatever these are made to be played with basically in my opinion and if they're not worth anything they're not worth anything do you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know i want to get them out the box but i haven't got it out the box yet well one because i just wanted to look at it a little bit longer and this is something i'm going to be doing at christmas some christmas display so i thought well i could just leave this out on display for now and then i'll do something christmassy but yeah but there's an inside it right i'll try and get it a bit closer without getting the glare there's a crown for the king there's a little puppy dog there's a little uh, i'm guessing that's a little tiara for clara there's a present and uh, did I mention the little dog and he's got a crown on and the Chelsea doll look at that hair oh, she's got hair down to her ankles almost hasn't she so yeah I'm really delighted I'm so passionate about the Nutcracker um you know as a theatre performance right and and the ballet and the music and everything and and i've actually um i i've actually had headphones in my ears when i've been doing my figure skating around about christmas time and i've actually listened to the nutcracker songs while i've been on the ice and i'm kind of like swooshing around really like in the zone uh, not on a weekend by the way you could never swoosh around fairly carefree on the weekend it's only when i've got my uh you know my coach and things i've got my coach uh she'll you know be my eyes um you know just in case someone's getting in the way and things but yeah i'm so delighted with these so i hope you've liked seeing a little bit of my doll diary so i've shown you some of the dolls and some of the crafts you know my garage and things and some of the sewing i've been doing so hopefully i might ha actually have a, a a barbie mum inspired outfit to sell to some somebody i'd love to basically um to somebody to get the one i make if i hopefully i can make more than one but um someone that really wants a barbie's mum doll um and they you know they they don't sew or anything you know and they really value having a, a barbie mum outfit that would be nice wouldn't it so yeah and i um, hope you've enjoyed hearing about future make you know sewing and we're doing for the dolls and knitting and things yeah so i'm just gonna try and keep you updated i don't have a fixed plan usually when i come into these videos i just kind of talk about what's been going on at the moment and just throw it all together and uh yeah and hopefully next well next time it's all going to be about the harry potter dolls and uh yeah i have had an ups uh, update from amazon about my harry potter quidditch doll um it's been a month since i've ordered it pre-ordered this doll and um saying they're really sorry but they're still trying to get it i can cancel if i want to but i don't want to cancel i want the doll <laughs> right so anyway thank you so much for joining me for this episode of doll diaries i really hope um you've enjoyed seeing something that i've showed you today and i've really enjoyed bringing it to you so now i better go and practice my instruments ready for the concert later so thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you next time. Bye!